In this video, I will build a 100 watt Bluetooth speaker with an FPGA controller. For this, among others, we need the VHD Plus Core Max 10, the shield and the audio extension. You can find a full part list in the video description. So, I can start by connecting the core with the shield, so we can connect the 24 volts power supply and batteries. Now, I can add the audio extensions. This has a stereo audio input for the optional analog audio input and a stereo audio output that goes to the 100 watts amplifier and then to the speakers. We already built the case for the speaker with the front panel. Now, let's assemble everything together. I add the speakers to the front panel and secure them with screws. Now, I can add the power plug, the battery monitor, the power switch, the chinch input, the control panel, and the fan. Now, let's add the electronics on the back. I add a 24 volts power supply, a 24 volts battery charger, two 12 volts batteries, and a battery protection circuit. Then I add the 100 watts amplifier, the FPGA I already assembled, a breadboard, and a Bluetooth module. Now I can connect everything together. The mains voltage goes to the power supply and the battery charger. The charging indicator goes to the control panel and the output goes over the power switch to the batteries. When the switch is flipped in battery mode, the battery is now connected over the battery protection circuit with the 24 volts output. Now I can connect the 24 volts power supply with the power switch. Ground from the battery and the supply goes to the shield and the face to the power switch. I then connect the face from the switch to the shield. From the shield, I then connect the 24 volts with the amplifier power input. Now, after we are done with the power supply, I connect the speakers with the amplifier, connect the change input with line in of the audio extension, and connect the audio output to the amplifier input. Finally, I can connect the I2S interface of the Bluetooth extension to the shield FPGA inputs. For the front panel, you have to connect the potentiometer, the buttons with LEDs, and the switch like this. With the breadboard, you have 3.3 volts and ground, so you can connect the pull-up resistors with the serial resistors. Now let's program the FPGA. I don't want to go too deep with that, so I already prepared the code, and I will explain what each part does. You can find the full code with the link in the video description on GitHub. I first create the default audio extension program. Add an I2S interface for the Bluetooth module. Add the Max10 ADC interface for the volume setting. But only the interface for one channel. Then I add a PWM interface so I can dim the LEDs of the buttons. And I finally add an LED strip interface so I can add some visual effects. We don't need the created code and I change the settings of the interface. We use a line in instead of a microphone and I set the gain to zero so the audio isn't clipping. Then I add the pins for the Bluetooth module and the I2S interface for the audio input. Next, I need the button and LED IOs and I add the ADC for volume control. But to simplify that, I only want 16 volume steps, but you could also change that in your code. Then to detect if there is something playing on the analog or Bluetooth input, I calculate the volume with 50 samples for the Bluetooth and change input. Now I add the code to control the audio input. I add a hysteresis to the volume value, check if the volume of the analog or Bluetooth input are above a threshold and select the channel for the output. The volume is applied by shifting the audio data right. This is the most efficient way to do it. Now I want to add the skip, back, play and pause feature for Bluetooth. You press the buttons on the control panel and this code triggers the Bluetooth module with the next, previous and pause pin. 
Next, I add an animation to the button LEDs. I check if a button is pressed and with the following code, the LEDs are as a result flashing in a pattern. For this, I also need a PWM controller for each LED. Finally, I add the light effects with the RGB strip. When you press the skip and back button at once, I want to change the color mode and when you press them long, they should turn off. Now I add the code that controls the LEDs. Depending on the volume, more LEDs are turned on in the selected color. And to update the LED strip, I update the LEDs every time the volume is calculated with the 50 values. I forgot to add the LED strip data output, so I quickly declare it. And now I can click on create. I add the shield, connect the audio extension, and connect the Bluetooth signals manually with the shield IOs. Because the Bluetooth module has a 1.8 volts IO voltage, I select this as IO voltage. All light green pins on the right and the two other Kruvai connectors then work with 1.8 volt IO voltage. The remaining pins can then be connected with lime green pins. Now compile your code and program the FPGA with long-term programming. Let's see what the result looks like. What we do here is go back, 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 back.